Oh, the holidays. Spending time with your friends and family, opening gifts and building a snowman, sitting by the fire with a nice warm cup of cocoa, and reading anonymous Instagram DMs of strangers accusing you of queer baiting, then setting out milk and cookies for Santa before you go to bed. But then you get to bed and you're reading another DM from the same stranger calling you ugly and making fun of your homo voice. There's nothing quite like it. Today, we will be embracing this time of the year to the fullest extent. And by that, I mean that I will be once again exploiting bad things that people say to me online for content. Consider this video my Christmas gift to you. <laughs> If you're wondering, Jordan, where the fuck are you? I'm at home and I'm filming in my mom's room. My makeshift ring light that I'm using right now, oh, it's depressing. Over the past year of 2022, I would like to think that I've changed up my content a little bit and it's brought in a newer audience to some of my videos. And newer audiences also means there's gonna be some people that fucking hate me. Over the past year, I've gotten some pretty good hate comments. Instagram DMs, I get a lot of hate comments when I do confession videos because it's anonymous and people can go crazy. I've noticed that people aren't as brave anymore with their hate comments. They like to do it in secret. They like to go in my DMs and just rip me a new asshole. And guess what? I took your comments and I put them in a video that has a sponsor. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Casetify. So the people who left comments, suck on that. If you don't know what Casetify is, Casetify is the most popular tech accessory brand. They're known for their amazing cases and their global collaborations that they do. These past couple of weeks, I've been using two phones. That is the most pretentious thing that has ever come out of my mouth. Casetify was generous enough to send me this whole package of phone cases. Look at how cute this is. It has a little charm. Oh, I'm sold. And I've dropped my phone in this countless times and it has not broken once. I'm gonna prove it to you right now. Watch this. From up here, okay? If this breaks Casetify, you're buying me a new one. No, I'm kidding. All right, drop test. I hated that, but I'm gonna show you that it still works. Not even a scuff. With an enhanced protective corner design using EcoShock protection technology, it's drop test protected up to 11.5 feet, and it's wireless and MagSafe charging compatible. There are over 2,000 available designs on their website for you to choose from, so if you want a cute phone case that's actually gonna protect your phone, click on the link in my description, casetify.com slash Jordan Cunningham. <sighs> Let's start off with a good classic, okay? Your neck looks unnatural. It does. Did you guys know that I can move my Adam's apple? That is so terrifying. The comment I'm about to show you, I hesitated to include this. Once you guys see this, you won't be able to unsee it. I saw this like a couple weeks ago. It altered my brain chemistry to a point of no return. I don't look at myself the same after this. Okay, are you ready? You move like a cloudy with a chance of meatballs character. Because I do. I literally talk like this. I talk like a fucking orchestrator. I bet you're a secret furry. What makes you think that? Should I become one? <laughs> Kurt Hummel, if he was neurodivergent. I wouldn't feel safe around you. I don't think I'm scary. Creepy, yes. It's giving giraffe that lives in my nightmares. My neck is not that long. I mean it is. We all need to shut up. You make so many homophobe videos, I'm starting to think that it's your kink. It's not my kink. Maybe it is. It pays the bills. You know what, no, I'm gonna let my neck breathe and you fucks that comment to that. You look like you would go into a gas station to simply buy strawberry milk. Ew. Joke's on you, bitch. I'm lactose intolerant, so I would never, ever get strawberry milk. I wouldn't even get normal milk. Who is drinking strawberry milk? One of you is lying. Drop the bit. I have nightmares about you often. It's okay, I think like I, if I wasn't me, I would too. Whenever I have night terrors, oh, everyone in the house just like locks down and prepares for the worst. When I have a night terror, I will like literally run and scream at you. It's not good. In the past, I've lived with people and have had night terrors with them in the other room and they're like, what the fuck? I put the people around me through a lot. This next comment has such a unique undertone of condescension to it that like, I don't even think I could, I will ever capture again. It says, you're so proud of yourself, huh? When I see your post notifications, I wonder how fucking stupid this video is gonna be. You ate that. I might frame that and put that next to the other confession that I want to frame that says that people have had sex while watching my videos before. Here's another one that kind of is from the same realm as that one. Will your videos ever be of quality? Chances aren't looking good. This one says, of course you like Nicki Minaj. Eye roll emoji. Watch your mouth. You can leave me hate comments. You can even leave my cat hate comments sometimes because guess what? I've learned that she gets them too, but you will not speak on Miss Mirage, okay? This comment says, I can't focus because your nostril is looking eastward. If you guys have watched me for a while, you guys know that I have a deviated septum. So first of all, 
fuck you. Uh, second of all, is it looking eastward? Yeah, I bet you're shit at driving. Actually, am I the best driver? No. Have I ever been in an accident? No. This next one is confusing because I know, I know there's a sinister undertone to this one. It says, nice outfit. Four winking emojis. The fuck is that supposed to mean? That's not right. Yeah, in that video, did I look like a golfer? Yeah, I did. This one's pretty straightforward. Content like this is the reason the world is going to shit. Are you celebrating being a f the balls that some of you have. This one might be the winner. It really might be. It says, so glad you queer people are using your little voices these days. What? Come again? Little voices? You're going to hell. I mean, I technically am too, but this one says, you are nothing. Damn right. I'm not shit. This one, I don't know what they meant by this. If I'm eating, I can't watch your videos. That's it. That's the comment. Not really a lot of context to work with, um, but I guess I make them nauseous. Maybe. I don't like do anything gross in my videos. <laughs> a waffle stomp where they would shit and then stomp it into the shower drain. Oh, this one's good. God really said, let's make his face almost symmetrical. Fuck you for that. Because yeah, my face isn't, it's no, it's not, it's crooked. Remember when I was a preemie, I slept on one side of the crib too long and my head literally dented. So yeah, not just my face, it's my whole head. Someone said, don't act like that perm is natural. It's not. Actually, that's on you for not knowing that because I have said so many times, I simply curl it using a curling rod. Oh my God, I thought I just saw someone poke out of the bathroom. Oh no. Oh, I'm so on edge. This one's sweet. You find the ugliest pieces of clothing and put them together. I don't think I do. I bet you sleep with no pillows like a psychopath. Actually, no, I don't sleep with a lot of pillows. I sleep with two. LGBT stands for limp wrist guaranteed boring tragic life. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, whoever wrote that one, something's going on at home. It's kind of funny though, not gonna lie. You look like a meerkat. Eh, boring, boring comment. If you ever made merch, I would buy it just to wipe my ass with it. I honestly don't care if you guys buy my merch just to wipe your ass with it, because I'm still benefiting from it. Jordan always seems like he knows something that we don't. You're right. I'm a government experiment. I see I, I, all. Are you actually gay? So this is more of a question that they were asking me, but it still has an undertone of like, fuck you. Um, drum roll please. Yes, I am a f definitely. I don't think that's gonna change. I really don't. I feel like you're faking being gay for views. That's a big lie to keep up with. If we're being serious right now, I would be living a double life. Do you really think someone that looks like this is queer baiting? No, they're not. You're attractive, but I wanna smack you. Is this like a kink thing? I mean, thank you. Keep being gay and LGBT and proud. Wow, that's that's a lot of ands. Keep being gay and LGBT and proud with the rainbow flag because it's all going to catch up to you. This one seems like it would go with the last one. Hell is hot. You're right. This one says, I hope you know that you are so fucking stupid. How's that one brain cell tree? You. I don't know, let me check on her. Intercourse with you. This one almost doesn't look complete. It just says, why does he look like that? Like what, bitch? I bet my mom is behind these accounts. Oh, this one's brutal. Gay people are awful and you're the reason I think that. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little flattered, I'm not gonna lie. I started to support gay rights, but then I stumbled on your page. That's a rough one. They were like at the finish line with supporting us gay people. And then they saw me and they were like, no fucking thanks, man. I am out of here. You internet gay people are unbearable. Yeah, I'm gonna fully agree with that one because guess what? We are. I literally forgot I screenshotted half of these. Does the conversion therapy warden know you're using your phone? Can't even be mad at it. Gay isn't real. I'm gonna trick you into a baptism. I hate you and your gay ass lisp. I don't, do I have a lisp? Do I? Holy shit. That lizard from Monsters Inc. made a YouTube channel. Randall, I bet Randall actually is gay. He's like a bitter middle-aged gay man. Stupid face. Someone says, don't forget to check Grinder. Fuck you. I hate to be on the same planet you were on. Now, half of these hate comments are almost flattering to me because it's like, I've never even met you. I don't even know what your face looks like. And I have and this I, much I, power I, I, over I, I, you. If I saw you drowning, I would breaststroke to shore and pretend I did didn't see you. Oh my God. I get it though. Like they're like, is that a skinwalker? Can't imagine turning a camera on and looking in the viewfinder to see that. If I want to feel hate, I Google you. I truly didn't know that that many people that I've never met or even seen before sit somewhere on their stained futons and attack me mercilessly from the safety of their stained futons and think of me in that way. I'm spreading the holiday cheer. You can all suck it. 